Hello, everybody. My name is Brenda. We are about to start our virtual uh, open house this afternoon. We're going to wait just a minute or two to let folks log in, and I'll be right with everyone. Hey, I see you're on, Becky. It's so nice to see you. Looks like we got Annette. Welcome, Annette. Welcome, David and Roy. Welcome, Brian Patterson. We're going to wait about one minute, Jay, to see if any other folks jump on before we start. Okay. Ah, Sophia. Hi there. All right, I think I think we got the attendee list set here. Okie dokie, it's 12.01, so we're gonna go ahead and get this kicked off. Uh, my name is Brenda, and I'm a home ownership counselor with the Southwest Washington branch. Uh, we are located in Woodland, Washington, and I am here today with a regional sales manager, Jay. Say hi, Jay. Hey, everybody, good to meet you. We're so excited to be coming to you this afternoon with a fantastic floor plan. Uh, we're gonna have a great time. We're gonna spend about an hour together. During this time, we're going to talk about our floor plan, which is the Arcadia East. That's what we're showcasing today. And we're gonna look at a fantastic video of an actual home. We're going to talk about the building process a little bit. And we're also going to answer any questions that anyone might have. Um, so it should take about an hour. Jay, you have anything you want to jump in and add? Yeah, I would say um, at the bottom of your screen, ah. you should, yeah, you should be able to hover your mouse. And just to be clear, you're going to see kind of a chat feature. And then you're also going to see a Q&A feature. So um, as we're going through this, um, Brenda's going to be doing a great presentation on this home. Um, just click on that Q&A button. And then please, please, please ask questions. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll kind of stop and then uh, address questions as they come in. And uh, questions are super important because a question that you're wanting to ask, I guarantee somebody else is going to want to ask the same question. So please use the Q&A uh, function at the bottom of the screen. All right, fantastic. Thanks, Jay. All right, guys, I'm going to start by sharing my screen and we will get started. So bear with me one second. And here we have our Arcadia East. This is a floor plan that is 1,405 square feet. It is out of about 37 floor plans that Adair Homes offers. And it comes in several different elevations. I'm just gonna pop through and show you the different options. This is the simplest plan. It's the, the classic version. This is a mid plan, it is the uh, signature elevation. What you see different on these plans are just the exterior detail. So for example, if we pop back to our classic plan, you see horizontal James Hardy lap siding and a very simple front of the face of the house, no wrapped windows, simple columns, very clean look. When we hop over to the signature version, we have a little bit more detail. You have the dentil treatment across the front of your garage. You have these lovely covals. You have the horizontal and vertical lap siding with wrapped windows and a little bit robust column. Hey Jay, if there's anything that you wanna hop in with, you just jump right on board with me, okay? Well, Brenda, I do have one question um, from uh, a customer already. And uh, only because Adair is confusing when it comes to uh, naming our plans, can you take a quick second? What's the difference between the Arcadia East and the Arcadia West? 
Oh, right on. Good question. Uh, I actually used to get stumbled up on that as well. So the Arcadia East is 1,405 square feet and it is a three bedroom home. The Arcadia West is 1,485 square feet and it's a four bedroom home. It's essentially the same floor plan. It just builds in a little bit more space and brings in that extra room. Perfect. Thank you, Rinda. Here is the uh, traditions elevation. This is the elevation that uh, we're going to be looking at today. And it's just in between the classic and the signature. There's no dentil treatment here and the columns are a little bit more simple. Very clean look of the house. So let me hop into what our home looks like. This home was built in Stevenson, Washington in Skamania County. And it is the Lopez Landers home. I love the color combination that they put on this house. It is fantastic. And they're actually painted this for them. Uh, painting is an owner to do item. It's an option. And uh, owners can paint the interior and the exterior of the house. And the Lopez Landers had us paint this exterior for them. Jay, can you chatter real quick about uh, a little bit site, the site development aspect of um, our builds? Yeah, absolutely. So as you, as everybody on the call should know, um, here at Adair Homes, we do a very good job at trying to maximize uh, our customers' equity. And one of the ways we do that uh, when you come in and meet with us is we're going to talk to you about uh, the development of the property. So, so the, everything I'm about to mention are things that are not included in the base price of the home because developing a, developing a property is very, very property specific. Right. So things like, you know, the excavation, right. And, and getting the lot ready for a foundation. Um, when it comes to uh, bringing in um, a driveway, you'll see that um, this client here um, is getting ready to pour concrete out in front of their garage and, you know, up to their front door. Um, you know, uh, Brenda will be discussing kind of a, kind of a deck ledger board. Uh, I'm so jealous, 60 feet of deck ledger uh, on this home. So this family is going to have a very large deck when this is all said and done. Um, but regardless, those types of things, along with connecting to the permanent utilities, water, power, and sewer, or maybe well and septic, right? Those are things that are not included in the base price of the home. But at Adair Homes, we will absolutely get you uh, the bottom line number on what your home should cost when it's all said and done. Thanks, Jay. So before, I, uh, before we start the video tour, I just wanna chat a little bit about um, what you can do with a standard floor plan with Adair Homes. So the Lopez Landers love the Arcadia East, but they had some specific requirements and details that they wanted to change in the home. And uh, so the standard floor plan is 1,405 square feet. This particular floor plan has been modified and we are at 1,549 square feet. I'm gonna show you the different floor plans right now and what we've done before we go look at the video. So here are our floor plans. What you're looking at on the right side of your screen is the traditional footprint of this house at 1,405 square feet. Pop over to this side on the left and you are looking at the modified floor plan, 1,549 square feet. So the Lopez Landers had some very specific things that they wanted to complete and change in this house. They chose the standard plan, and then we went through a modified process of making these changes on what we call a red line. It's where we take the standard floor plan and we redline all the changes and we submit those to our corporate office for them to price it for the customer. This is what we've come out with. We're gonna go through it step by step and look at all the changes that they've made. But first and foremost, I want you to look at the kitchen. So here's our standard kitchen and it's a nice setup, but look at what they did. They bumped out that back wall and they added on 144 square feet to this house to make this lovely, huge open living space in the kitchen area and great big dining area. They actually moved their sliding glass door from the back and they popped it over here right between these great big windows. Here we are right here. 
Isn't that fantastic? This is where all the views are, and we'll see this in the video. It is just, it's stellar. It looks oh, really great. I love the look at that kitchen. I mean, that's, anyway. Um, and then, Brenda, uh, just a couple real quick questions. So Becky's asking, Brenda, so on the exterior of the home, do we have to caulk um, prior to painting, or does it dare do that? So can you kind of talk us through who does the exterior caulking? Yeah, actually, Becky, good question. Um, when you uh, set up your uh, order with the Dare Homes, you'll have the option of choosing to paint the interior and exterior yourselves um, or having a Dare or a third party do it for you. So if you do choose to do it yourself, you would be caulking just around your windows and doors um, of the exterior of the home. Your home will come fully primed uh, so it's ready to be painted. And um, a big misconception I think that a lot of my customers have had is that they thought they had to um, caulk the butt joints of all those, the James Hardy product that comes together. And there's no caulking there. We have a wonderful sheathing material that goes behind that. So the caulking that's gonna take place is just doors and windows. Anything else that I'm missing there, Jay? Yeah, no, I, I think a great way to sum it up is uh, the painter, right, does the caulking. So that, that's kind of standard in the industry. If, if you ask a dare to paint it, we caulk it. If you manage the painting, then either yourself or your painter would caulk the home. Um, another great question here is, um, they're kind of one and the same, but so um, David asks, you know, is, is there an average additional cost from upgrading a home to a quote unquote red lined home, right? So doing customization. And then um, an another customer is asking, so how much extra is it to kind of flip the kitchen and move a door? So I guess at a very high level, Brenda, could you, could you kind of explain customizing and, and how Adair does that with custom options? Yeah, um, really, really quick. Um, for the Lopez Landers, when they came in to meet me and we decided on their floor plan, they had their piece of land and we conducted our site visit with them. So we went with them to the site and we determined the best location for the house, best orientation for their views and whatnot. Once we completed the site visit, then we were able to begin the customization process of their home. And when we do a red line, as I said earlier, we, we, we make all of our changes and then we submit those custom options to our corporate office for pricing. Um, the items that, that we created were not substantial changes to this floor plan. So it was very easy for us to do and the process took about, I don't know, three to five days to get priced. Jay, can you talk to um, the question of, 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 of an average price? Um, you have a lot more experience in the, in, uh, the sales market than I do. Yeah, so with, without diving off into the details, um, the easiest thing to do for anybody that wants to, I'll just use adding square footage as an example, um, is so how much does this home cost per square foot? And you can go on our website and look at the base price of, 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 of any of our floor plans. And then like this family did, ooh, I wanna add 144 square feet. So it's generally safe to assume that if you just multiply the base price you know, per square foot of the home by the amount of square footage you wanna add, right? That's, that, that's gonna get you close to what it would cost to add square footage to any given home. Um, this family went far above and beyond and added cabinetry and so on and so forth. So there, there were other things being added, but yeah, generally here at Adair, we're super flexible and um, we would love to entertain any and all needs to modify your floor plan to fit your lot the best we can. Thanks, Jay. There, there is quite a few more changes that we're gonna just look at as we go through the video, but I just really wanted to show this, this addition right here because the kitchen just looks fantastic when you see it. So we're, we're gonna hop into the video now and um, we'll, we'll start and stop as we roll along. Um, and let's just get started here. Oh, that wasn't so great. Bear with me one second, let's make for this to reload. Yeah, so Brenda, while, while your computer's thinking about it, I know one clarifying uh, comment a lot of customers may or may not know is that here at Adair on the exterior of the home, we do use full James Hardy brand siding. So any, any of the lap siding, uh, any of the uh, board and bat vertical siding, 
uh, dental rails, window surrounds, and exterior trim on the home. All of that is 100% James Hardy concrete fiber cement products. Um, and they have a tremendous warranty and, and they, they really do a great job in the industry. So everything you see on the exterior of an Adair home will be the James Hardy siding. Thanks, Jay. Look at the color of their front door. So it's beautiful, bright yellow. Uh, with the elevation that they chose, they're getting the half lights in the window up here um, on their front door, which comes standard with this particular elevation. So as we zip in the house here, the first thing I wanna show you is look at this expansive space in a smaller home, it's amazing. Um, we're gonna go through all the details, but the first thing I want everybody to note is that they chose the nine foot plate height. Our standard home is built at an eight foot plate height. So uh, the Lopez Landers went ahead and, and upgraded to the nine foot. They took the front bedroom, which is this little room right here, and they pulled out the closet and made this into an office. Uh, they also added this window. So this standard room came with just the front window and they went ahead and added two beautiful windows here. If you look at the window framing, this is a standard frame. It is drywall finished. There is no exterior framing on your window. And the Lopez Landers chose to put a windowsill and an apron on this particular set of windows. Oh, that really view. Views. Isn't that sneak, glorious? Sneak peek on the view there. Oh, it's so pretty. So we're entering into their great room. And with the great room, we chose to do uh, our, our can light package to give additional lighting to the great room. Our standard package, our lighting is attached to your switches. So you plug in a lamp, you flick a switch on the light on the wall and you get your lighting package. Um, they also have the availability to do uh, a pre-wire for a ceiling fan and um, a future light, which they did in their bedroom, I believe. I don't think we did it in the living area. Boy, that flooring is gorgeous, isn't it? Carrying throughout the main body of that home. Yeah, actually the flooring um, is an upgrade. So that living room would typically be a carpet. And they went ahead and they upgraded the entire house, Jay, to a Brava Florte. It is mm. a luxury vinyl plank. And the color that they chose is Antico. So if anybody wow. loves that color, jot that, that color down. It's Brava Florte Antico. And it is a luxury vinyl plank flooring. Uh, it is a waterproof product. It's made with a rubber base. Uh, very durable and it's beautiful as you can see. Gorgeous. Hey, Brenda, one, one comment that, um, that's being asked by David is, um, you know, kind of touching back on the, the site development side of things. Um, so for those of us that are new to the process, um, I, I'm assuming we need to get pre-approved for a loan before you meet us on our property. Is that correct? Or yeah. Brenda, would, would, could, could you clarify that just real quick? David, good question. And yes, that is the correct answer. So what we would like our customers to do is receive a pre-qualification from a lender. Uh, we have Alliance Financial Services, who is our sister company, uh, very robust in the construction industry. They, uh, they have a wrangle on uh, one-time closed loans available for veterans, uh, conventional, and FHA. Um, we like to have that pre-qualification in hand at, at uh, the first meeting, if possible, soon thereafter so that we can then come and do a site visit for you. You would need a purchase and sale agreement on the property that you're looking at for us to come and do that site, unless you already own your land. Yeah, thanks Brenda. Hey, real quick, I wanna point out right here, we have two can lights in the dining room area. So the standard light package the customer pulled out, which would have been a hanging um, uh, chandelier uh, over the dining and they had the two can lights put in there. So moving uh, through, go I ahead. I love that accent wall behind those white cabinets. Yeah, isn't that great? Beautiful color there. Love it too with those white cabinets. This kitchen is dialed in, guys. Uh, uh, I'm gonna pop in a little closer and, and I'm gonna freeze it up here because this video goes pretty quickly. 
So the Lopez Landers chose our pendant lights to hang above their island. We have uh, relocated everything in this kitchen. They have chosen the gourmet kitchen package. So to speak briefly on that, Adair Homes in our standard home package is going to give you Whirlpool appliances. That would be a standalone stove, a microwave hood vent, as well as a dishwasher. They are available in white, black, and stainless steel. Um, our cooktop in the electric version is a glass flat surface. We have it available in uh, gas, which can be converted to LP quite easily. The Lopez Landers chose our gourmet kitchen package. That is the Maytag line. They give a 10 year uh, warranty on their products. Beautiful line. They receive two built in ovens. So you're seeing one right here. One would be underneath the cooktop. They receive a built in microwave oven. They also receive a stainless steel based tub for their dishwasher and a true hood vent that goes through the roof. It's a beautiful package. Let me chat really quickly about some of their products. Um, I'm gonna have to look at my notes here because I, I, I don't remember them off the top of my head. Uh, we did add in quartz for their finished countertops. So our standard countertop is a Wilson Art laminate. The Lopez Landers cho chose to go to a quartz. This finish is called Gray Expo and it is in their kitchen and you'll see it also in their bathrooms. Look how clean that looks. Let's talk a little bit about their cabinetry as well. So what you're seeing in their cabinets is a shaker cabinet and then they painted it dove white. This is an upgrade. Our standard cabinet comes available in this style, so it's a shaker look, but the cabinet would be a beach front cabinet. The beach is the wood product, and it's available in about five different stain colors from a dark stain to a very light colored stain. With this cabinet package, since they got nine foot ceilings, that package upgrades many things to include their cabinets. So they're getting 36 inch uppers as opposed to our standard uppers, which I believe are 32. Is that correct, Jay? I, I'm not 100%. I, I'm not With that nine foot ceiling package, guys, you also are going to get foot taller windows, foot taller garage door, foot taller sliding glass door, as well as these larger cabinets. This video does not do this beautiful farm sink justice, but look at that. They got a, a gorgeous farm sink. It is one of the options that are upgrade available. And also take a look at the backsplash. It is a six inch run of a classic white subway tile. That is now our standard backsplash in our kitchens. Jay, if I'm missing anything, you jump right on in. Yeah, I love that farm sink. Look at that view. Mm. Isn't that gorgeous. Beautiful home. So now we're going to zip down the hallway here to their bedrooms. You see this flooring throughout the house. We're going to stop at the laundry room first, which is to the right here. I want to point out this shelf right here is our standard shelf that, that comes above your washer and dryer, which you will provide. We have options to do cabinetry above our, our uh, washer and dryer as well. Here's a great look at their trim package. What you're seeing around the door right here, this is the, um, the Craftsman trim package. Our standard trim package uh, is a colonial based trim. It's a little smaller than this. This is probably our most popular trim pack. Uh, we have an upgraded trim pack, which would be architectural trim. It's just a little bit more robust. I do want to point out that um, if you're doing your owner painting, uh, you will receive all of your trim primed and ready for paint.
We're going to go ahead and hop into the first bedroom. This is a standard door that you're seeing as an entry to the bedroom. It's a six panel hollow core door. Uh, it's by Geldwin Doors and Windows, and it is standard. Here's this first bedroom. Um, I want to give you the dimensions to the bedroom. We're at bedroom number two, that is 911 by 98. Now we're going to go ahead and hop into the bathroom. And I'm freezing it right here. I know this is not a very good picture, but take a look at, you can just barely capture the lights at the top. Those are the standard light fixtures with all of our homes. They come in the brush nickel finish. And our videographer just didn't get an opportunity to catch those great for us. Ooh, I love that undermounted sink. So here we have, yeah, isn't that gorgeous? You've got your quartz countertop here. Uh, they chose to do the undermount sink and the standard backsplash. You got your white cabinetry con continued through here. And this tub surround is our standard fiberglass tub surround. Hey, Brenda, just a quick question. Yeah. So um, do you get higher or taller cabinets and a garage door with vaulted ceilings? Or are those nine foot ceilings? And can you kind of talk about the difference? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question, actually. Our, uh, our nine foot ceiling package is one of the, it, it is the only actual package that we sell. Um, that does give you the foot taller windows, the foot taller garage door, the, foot, the, the taller kitchen cabinets, and the foot taller sliding glass door. Our vaulted ceiling package is available in all one story homes in the great room kitchen dining area. Um, it uh, does not come with taller windows. There's no package. It is just the actual vault. Uh, some of our vaults are available in master bedrooms as well. Um, and actually on second floor um, homes, we've done uh, some, some vaults in like the big bonus rooms upstairs. Does that answer that question, Jay? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, vault, vaulted ceilings can just be by room, pretty simple. Um, nine foot ceilings, um, are, are, I mean, the home is built very different. So, yep. This is the master bedroom. Uh, the dimensions of the master are 13.9 by 14.10. And you can see all the outlets on the wall. Everything is going to be built to code. You may add additional outlets if you like during your home quote when we're setting your order up. We're gonna pop into the master bath. I know that's kind of a jump there. Uh, the Lopez Landers have the standard shower surround put in, tub shower surround. And again, they have the lovely granite. And there's a look at that double sink. And there's a great look at the lights. So those are the standard light packages that will come with all the Adair homes. Yeah, I really like that countertop color and style with, the, with those undermounted sinks. That's so yeah. clean looking. Yeah. Really, really nice. So we're going to head back out to the living area and then this video will pop us outside. We can look at the exterior finishes. There's a good look at that trim. That's that craftsman trim. Oh, here's your closet. Sorry about that. Nice size closet. Those are the standard finishes to our closet. So we do not use wire. We use the wood finished product. Rocker switches are standard with all of our electrical switches. And here we are outside. So this is their rear portion of the home. Look at that. Jay, you want to talk a little bit about that deck ledger? Yeah, so everybody here can see, um, you might want to hover over it with your cursor there, Brenda, but that area right there, yep, that is known as a deck ledger. And that's where uh, this family asked Adair Homes to stop the siding 
um, and put a large piece of flashing in there. Why do we do that? Well, it's got to be waterproof and it's got to be engineered to the foundation of the home. So the, the great news here is that when, when you ask Adair Homes to put a deck ledger on, the home is completely secure, uh, completely uh, flashed properly, um, and then the homeowner can have any uh, deck that they would like installed onto that deck ledger board. Um, and like I said, this family, they're, they're ready for a, for a big, big deck here coming up in the future. So, hey, Jay, can you answer a question for me? Um, yes. It's common, commonly asked uh, from many of my customers, why can't I just go right into my hardy board? Oh, oh, where do I start? So, <laughs> so yeah, for, for those of us in, um, you know, on this presentation who think that, oh, I'm just going to pull some, some hardy board off the home and, or I'll just go right over the top of it with my deck, that is gorgeous. Um, the, the answer is no. Uh, as, as your builder, we want to make sure that your home is 100% waterproof, weather tight, um, and ready to accept a, a engineered deck um, because that, that cannot be a, a water penetration point in the home. Look at that view. Isn't that glorious? Yeah. Brenda, did, did the family own the property or did they, did they purchase the property? You know, that's a good question, Jay. Sophia's on, uh, on, the, on this, uh, this tour. She might be able to answer that. I don't remember. Um, oh, that's amazing. Isn't that so gorgeous? And, you know, one question that, that, that just got brought up is um, we, we have families uh, on this call right now. Um, they're, they're, they're wondering, uh, so we've noticed many homes in the area do not have a traditional HVAC system right? Heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Um, is, is that available in an Adair home? Good question. Every standard home that we build comes with an HVAC and heat pump system built into the base price of the home. They are put out by American Standard, which is a huge company, been around for a minute, and it's a complete system. It's available in gas or conversion to LP, or electric. And that is in our standard base price of the home. It's built in already. Okay. Thank you for, for answering. I, that. I thought I'd go back to this beautiful view while we field oh. questions so that we can kind of dream. Yeah. And Sophia, thank you so much for your response. And thank you for allowing us to uh, tour through your home uh, today. Um, and uh, Sophia did answer that uh, they own the property. So yeah, what a, what a gorgeous, gorgeous view, gorgeous home. Um, and obviously it, it kind of goes back to the customer working with Adair, being able to kind of reimagine the floor plan to maximize views on your property. So for all of us that are, that are on this call, don't hesitate to work with your local home ownership counselor at your Adair office and modifying an Adair home is, is super easy at, at your local office. So do we have any uh, questions? If, if not, I'm going to ramble a little bit. Yeah, no, um, I, I think you've done such a good job of, of explaining, Brenda. We don't have a lot of questions on this particular one. Okay. But um, yeah, but Brenda, as you're talking, uh, team, hit, hit us with questions in the Q&A section. We, we'd love to address any questions that you have. You know, I, I just wanted to speak uh, briefly to um, the initial appointment. Um, so, you know, if you're first time watching uh, this video and um, you have a curiosity, um, I, I would love to um, just invite you to call either our corporate office and talk to the online sales team or call directly to a branch uh, and set an appointment up to come in and spend some time with a home ownership counselor like myself. Uh, it's a, a, a very casual appointment. It's fun um, and it's all education and coaching. Uh, that is our job as a home ownership counselor is to, to help you through the process and help you understand what it's like to build a home with an on your lot builder. Um, and we, we collaborate and come together as a team to determine if we're a great fit for you. Um, one question we have uh, from David, Brenda, is so many realtors have mentioned that new builds um, are up to a year out or more for completion. So the way I read that is that most builders take uh, at least a year or more. Um, can you kind of discuss um, how long does a Dare Homes actually take to, to build a home? Yeah, 
good, good, good question, David. You have a lot of really good questions. Uh, each of our branches out of Dare Homes has a little bit different timeline for building. Um, <clears throat> but I would say, on general, it takes about nine months to complete your home. Now, that's broken down into two parts. So the first part is approximately a four-month window where the owner participates and works on owner to do items and doing such things as permitting, working through the permitting process and um, taking care of the, the excavation and maybe installing a well, uh, preparing the land for a dare homes. And then a dare homes will come in and we will pour that foundation and build your house up and in and it takes approximately five months, give or take a couple of weeks because your topography of your land, your weather, um, all of that comes into play, but I would say nine months is a really good number for a dare homes. And uh, Brenda, while we're answering questions, um, would you mind uh, pulling up the uh, the document that you had that showed the difference between the two floor plans, please? Absolutely. All right. So again, just to, just to be clear, the one on the left hand side is what is what the Lopez Landers family completely redesigned, and the <coughs> one on the on the right would be would be our standard floor plan. Yeah, so, that's correct. Yeah, so Brenda, um, really quick, um, can you talk us through that, that James Hardy concrete fiber cement siding that comes standard in, in, in every Adair home? Yeah. Does that, does, that, does that come in different colors or do you paint it? So let's go back and take a look at the front of the house. So here we have uh, the Lopez Landers home and the whole entire home, the face of the home is James Hardy to include your trim. So this trim, what we're, where I'm highlighting, that's also a concrete product, all of this, where we wrought out in the Pacific Northwest so greatly at the base of our front doors, it's a concrete product. Our product comes primed. So it's going to be a beautiful yellow and uh, it's ready to be painted by our homeowners, okay? Does that answer the question, Jay? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Every, uh, I know that I know sometimes when that question pops up is that when you go on the James Hardy website, uh, first of all, they are a tremendous company. They're the best siding products for the Pacific Northwest, blah, 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 blah. But I know on the website, they do make a product called color plus where it, it comes in a bunch of different colors and, you know, with Adair homes wanting to protect our customers, it's very, very difficult to have a finished product like siding delivered to a home or a job site in transit, remain clean on the job site, then get hung and cut and installed, and then be a finished product like it's fresh off the showroom floor. Um, so here at Adair Homes, like Brenda said, we do the primed hardy. So that way after it's all hung and everything's perfect on the home, then a painter comes in and actually paints it and then that that assures a perfect finish um, on the back end and can you go back to the floor plan um, just while we're while we're answering these questions as well I know we've had a, a couple questions pop up here regarding the floor plan um, so Brenda uh, just to confirm for those of us that are relocating does a dare build in both Washington and Oregon we sure do. Um, Adair builds in Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and Arizona. Uh, we have how many branches now? I a, forget. A bunch. I want to say it's 19. I was going to say 19 or 20. Uh, yeah. We opened, what, three branches in Arizona this year. Uh, but yes, we, we build all throughout Washington and all throughout Oregon. Uh, my branch alone at the Woodland location has, I believe, seven counties that we cater to. And then um, uh, another question that we have here is that, um, so does Adair Homes, do we have any homes ready to buy or do we only do custom homes built on land? We are an on your lot builder, true to our name. You bring the land, we will build your home. We do not have spec homes. We are not that kind of a builder. Yeah, yeah, so j just to be clear on that question, um, yeah, we, um, we're also not prefabricated homes. 
So we, we don't have homes that are ready to be delivered on the property. These are all handmade custom built homes on site. So um, um, for those of us that, that do own the land or, or have the land, yes, we can put together a, a land home package and really help you understand how much your Adair floor plan would cost to be built on, on your property or, or a property that you're considering buying. Now, um, you know, Jay, um, if, if, if uh, we have customers that have no idea about land, um, uh, we will work with them. And we, we have the homeownership counselors at every branch have realtor partners. Uh, we have folks that we work with that are in the real estate industry that understand land acquisition. And we can do warm introductions to partner you with an agent that will help you find the piece of land. Okay. And then I don't know if, um, if this person is asking for your particular phone number. Uh, so maybe you want to give that because they might have additional questions after this call. But um, I guess generally speaking, where does Adair build, what states, what cities, and what is your phone number? Um, so, so I guess- I'm going to show you all. I sound like I'm from Texas. I'm going to show you all. I spent the last 30 years in Texas. I'm very happy to be back in the Pacific Northwest. Here's our build map. You can find this um, online uh, on our website, but there's our footprint. So each different color represents a different build area. If anybody would like to speak with me directly, please call me. Here is my phone number, 360-841. 2044. I would love to talk to you. And if you're not in my build area, I'll still talk to you and I'll hook you up with the homeownership counselor in your build area that will help you. Perfect. And it looks like we have one, uh, one final question here. Um, or if there's more, please, please don't hesitate to ask uh, down in the Q&A section. But um, have the fires affected anything with Adair? And I can, I can kind of address that one is that um, luckily, um, you know, our clients are very blessed that uh, to our knowledge, we did not lose uh, any homes in the fire. Um, so that, that's a blessing. I know a couple of our mills that uh, our suppliers get lumber from, a few of those mills did have to close down, but they have since reopened. So um, it didn't, it didn't uh, disturb too much in our um, active construction pipeline. And, um, you know, Adair, we are a, a, um, you know, a very customer forward company uh, in, our, in our Oregon territory. We are actually looking uh, to help the community, to serve the community, and for families that um, are underinsured or do not have insurance to be able to replace their homes. Um, our company does have a, a program right now where um, we're going to help um, at least two, if not three families, um, get their homes back who um, otherwise would not have been able to. So regarding the fires, um, that's kind of the, the update that, that I'd like to provide on that, but, but great question. Um, all right, David, thank you so much. Uh, David says, uh, Brenda, thank you so much. Um, you guys have been great. You guys have been awesome. Um, Thanks, David, I appreciate the feedback. It does help. Yep. I love these uh, open houses online. I think they're fantastic and you can go back and look at them. You can find them on our website. Um, they're, they're just, they're, they're actual homes that we build. And I yeah. think they're far and, and beyond our model homes because they're real people that have put their blood, sweat and tears into this house and, and uh, it's their, their pride and, and joy. Yeah, and then Brian Patterson is asking you, Brenda, so um, who, who would I talk to about a construction loan um, and then what, if any, upfront deposits are required? Ah. So yeah, can, can you talk about who we use for construction financing and just, and just at a high level, what, what, what the upfront costs might be? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so uh, we have a sister lender that works directly with Adair Homes. Their name is Alliance Financial Services. Um, they are very robust in the construction loan industry. Uh, they offer a true VA construction loan a 30-year conventional loan and an FHA loan. Our typical uh, down payment for a 30-year construction is about 5%. Uh, FHA is about 3.5% and the VA is a 0% down payment. Uh, we can put you in contact, any, any home ownership counselor can put you in contact with our representative from 
Alliance Financial Services. We also work with uh, a handful of other lenders out there uh, in the construction industry. Yeah, and so Brenda, um, I'm gonna throw you a softball question here because I haven't gotten to ask a question yet. Wait a second, but... I haven't finished my last question. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay. So, <laughs> two part <laughs> question. $2,300 is your uh, payment to Adair Homes for writing your contract in most cases. Um, that was a question. How much does he, does he have to pay us? Okay, so, but for those of us on this call, that just want to come in and talk with you or another homeownership counselor to dare and go through a pre-approval process, um, you know, understand the pricing of the home, going through the quoting process, uh, maybe providing one of those site visits that you talked about and really getting our mind around if a dare is going to be a good fit for the family, both financially and structurally. Um, how much does that process cost? Hmm. A big fat zero. Okay. Okay. Just, I just wanted to confirm. Hey, you know what? Yeah. Adair Homes does not want someone to purchase a piece of land they can't build on. So we want to partner with you and we want to help you through the process so that you make the best choice for your family. We go above and beyond and we do a lot of this work for you complimentary. Yeah. Yeah, so I would say we have no other questions. Um, and it looks like we're going to be able to end here a few minutes early. But, uh, but yeah, I would just, uh, I just want to thank everybody for their participation here. And I would just say uh, great questions. And uh, if nothing else, please, please, please uh, go to our website at darehomes.com. Um, engage us. Uh, we'd love to help you and serve your family. Call your local Adair office um, if, if you already um, are in the area and know of your local Adair office. And we would just love the opportunity to see if, if Adair is gonna, gonna work for you and your family and your needs. And like Brenda just said, it, it costs you nothing. Yeah. So anyway, so Brenda, do you wanna close us out? Yes, I uh, just wanted to thank uh, Sophia for joining us and letting us showcase your beautiful home. And for everyone else, Give me a call if you would like to look at building in my area. Uh, check out Adair Homes. Uh, we appreciate your time and we hope that you join us soon on our next uh, virtual open house. All right. Have a wonderful afternoon, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for Bye -bye, joining. Everybody.